town of Pendleton and Anderson County helps us out a lot. Pendleton gives us these facilities to, to operate out of them. They don't charge us. They're really good to us and the town of Anderson does a great job with us. We have a football field. Right now it's flag football and then we'll, we're going to tackle football in the fall. We have well over 200 kids here playing baseball, summer sports. These football fields, they're so hard. Uh, they're not really safe for a lot of the kids. What they're doing, they're going to soften them up. This is the same equipment they use for Clemson University. Our baseball fields, when it rains, we have to cancel games for usually two to three days. This right here is going to create a runoff. Just to pay our umpires and referees, we sell concessions. We still count on a lot of businesses around to help us out, you know, sponsoring football teams, baseball teams, etc. We've wanted to do something like this for years. It just can't happen. you got to have volunteers like this come up and businesses and help us out a whole lot. I came here 18 years ago from England with a, another company that sells turf equipment. I ended up coming to Anderson, the owner of the company. At the time he liked Anderson, fell in love with Anderson. I came here May 5th, 2002 and started up a company for them. I ended up taking over the company 10 years ago and been here ever since. Love Anderson County, I've traveled all over the country, quite honestly. Um, wouldn't really want to live anywhere else. I like Anderson County. I like living in Pendleton. Uh, I live just down the road from here and it's, it's nice. I can never have these opportunities that I have today anywhere else in the world and it just happens that this place is great and good people. My children wanted me to become a citizen and so I surprised them with uh, taking the citizenship test and becoming a full American citizen. I'm very proud. Very proud to be here and know good people and, and be able to have the freedoms and do the things that you can do here. My son plays baseball up here. One of our guys was his coach and got me working with the rec. They need some help on the fields. Uh, There's always trouble trying to donate or get money raised to do the kind of scale of thing that we're going to do today. So finally we just said we're going to come out and, and get it done and try and help out the community, make the field safer for the kids and give back to the community that we're part of. Uh, my family is part of it, all my team are local guys and we just want to give back to the community as a company and personally. We have the equipment to do this so we want to come out and help. The baseball fields, they're out of level so the skin the area gets flooded and it's wet and it's built up a lip around the outside which means water can't drain off. So we're going to go ahead and remove the lip with a special machine we have for phrasing, it's called phrase mowing. It removes all the top layer of the grass, leaves the roots there so it will regrow but it will remove the lip. We're going to use that material that's taken out to level off a spot for a future expansion of a softball field and that's down the road and then we're going to dump about 20 ton of sand on each infield. We went to the rec and said if they donate the sand we'll do it. They've got 120 ton of sand so once we blend that material we're going to then go in and use a laser grader. It uses a laser beam and we're going to level the fields out so the water will run off. After we've laser graded it we will roll it and we have a heavy roll to pack it back down and then we have a groomer out here that's going to groom them and finish them up and then they'll reline them and set all the stubs for the, for the base plates and everything. Um, on the football field we are going to go ahead and put 40 ton of sand out on the football field. We're then going to use a special aerator which kind of wiggles the ground around and it's going to work the sand into the clay. We're going to put grass seed out with all this warm weather and this rain we're having. We're going to try and get a good stand of Bermuda so it'll last through the summer. And then in the fall we hope to come back and overseed with ryegrass so they have a pretty green field to play on and something the town can be proud of and, and with the good facility they have here try to raise the standard of the grass and the facility uh, for everybody to enjoy. To do what they're doing today you would pay plus over 10000 for a contractor to come and do it. There's about $220,000, $230,000 worth of equipment sitting here right now for this project. Mr. Taylor came in, saw a need in his community, and stepped up to the plate. And that's, that's what we need. It, it all starts at this level. The pride that the people have in these smaller communities transpires out across the state. And when people come in from other states and other communities, uh, they see that. And plus, he's an amazing guy. He's, he's an American dream story. He became an American citizen built a business here, raised his family here, 
part of the community. I mean, it's a, an American dream story, and that's, that's what we like seeing. I'm proud to be here and uh, proud to help my community.